What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting and, and kind of a unique episode tonight. So we got our teeth absolutely kicked in today, fishing for bass, and so we're switching it up. We're in the process of really quick switching up our, our gear over to freshwater stuff. It's kind of funny. We started off the trip fishing saltwater, then we fished freshwater, and then we fished saltwater, and then we fished freshwater today, and now tonight we are going on a little mission saltwater fishing uh, around some of these urban docks uh, by downtown San Diego, some of these docks. Supposedly there's some really, really good fish that move in in the night, so it's gonna be an opportunity to kind of use some of our bass gear, some of our, our typical, you know, flipping gear, swim jigs, stuff like that around some of these dock piers and, and, and all sorts of different types of really cool urban cover and just kind of walk the the streets down there kind of be a little bit stealthy though it's, it's going to be total stealth mode deal because some of the docks you're not really supposed to be out there fishing on but should be a really cool adventure so stick along let's go catch some How many, what's the goal? One? Ten a piece. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. All right, guys, we got, uh, we're, we're ready to go. We're gonna do some some bank. We're, we're doing a, a bank mission, right? This is what people do here. This is this is the deal. Bay bass around boat docks. It, it's a little bit different. Never done anything like this. It's kind of frowned upon, Afrin, you'd say? Frowned upon to fish in this area? Well, it's, a, it's an interesting area to fish. Okay, so it's, it's interesting, he says. That's a great way to put it, interesting. So I got my backpack. Uh, that's got a box of baits. We got some soft baits. I got my camera gear, of course, in there. Got my vlog camera. I don't know if you know this, but I'm, I'm filming on my vlog camera right now. And we got these two rods and reels. Afrin's got one. We, we probably only really need one, but I love to carry too much tackle. You know how it is. And uh, yeah, it's it's urban fishing. We're, we're walking from the truck where we parked. We just ate dinner. And now we're going to fish and, and hopefully catch them. Hopefully. That'd be so sick. But it's gonna be a cool adventure either way. Maybe we get kicked out. Who knows? Maybe go to jail. Should be a good night. What's that sign say? I don't know what that says. I would avoid people. Got it. Check. All right, guys. Starting with uh, the old flipping the cross. Sorry if you can't see anything that I'm doing at all. But Afrin says maybe the dock piling's are legit. He hasn't fished down here a whole lot. And it's not exactly uh, legal to fish down here. So here we are. This is like total stealth fishing because. As that sign says, no fishing. Hmm. Afrin says you just gotta be kind of stealthy and it's really not that big of a deal. But there's all these like million dollar boats out here trying not to go to jail tonight, potentially. Oh, there's one, there's one. Oh, it came off. Damn it. Just had a little one there. Felt little anyway. Sick, all right, so there is fish here, that's tight. I guess the super complicated technique we're using tonight is kind of just pitching out next to these docks, poles, whatever, whatever goes down, whatever cover that could be holding on, and just kind of jigging that bait back off the bottom. You want to let it go to the bottom, pop it up off the bottom. These fish, these are these are bay bass. This is what we were catching the first day that I was here. Um, so they're they're not giant. They're like two to three pounds, a lot of them, but they fight super super hard. They're really fun. They're kind of like I don't know, like a smallmouth or a spotted bass would be, but obviously we're fishing saltwater. It's it's just once again so sick we're fishing something like this this is totally different than anything that i've done before anything that i could do back home but freaking love it oh got bit off i just got bit off by something well guys just got uh got bit off sheared clean off it was like tick 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 and then started pulling and i set the hook and bowed up and it felt like a solid fish and snip, it was Gandhi, but that's okay. At least we know that there are fish here. That's half the damn battle. All right, there you go, guys. Nice, sexy little crab bait, AKA crab bait, lobster bait. We need to catch one of these biters. Got him? Oh, he's hooked up. Dude, what did you catch? Got a, that's, that's great, that's a bay bass. Little bay bass. <laughs> Dude, that's cool though. Hit it on the fall, right in the corner. Just smoked it right yeah. there. That's sick. <laughs> Warbait swim jig. <laughs> Dude, they're so cool though. It's cool, it's so they're just cool. awesome fish. <laughs> yes. That must be what like do -do 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 me the first time. Little. Definitely isn't what bit me off, but so Little cool. Bigger. Little bigger. Sick. There are fish here. Okay. 
There's one. There we go. Yes! Hooked up. It's also small. <laughs> Another bay bass, dude. So sick. Night fishing for bay bass. Let's see if I can tear my thumb up even worse. Out here in the dark, somewhat restricted areas, catching totally badass little fish. So sick. Coolest thing is we're using freshwater baits. I'm using my typical, nothing out of the ordinary, unpegged sinker with a natural craw bait. Actually a bait that Oliver uh, Nye gave me the other day, this Mega Bass bottle shrimp. Just a Texas rig, just flipping around these boat docks. Kind of cool, just, just like large mouth, small mouth stuff around these boat docks. Just kind of letting it go to the bottom, let it fall, and it's just, you know, it's a natural unpegged cross, which is kind of slowly undulating down there. Nothing, nothing flappy, nothing too crazy. And they're loving it. Oh, there's another one. Oh, got another one. This is the juice. Drop the poles, folks. We're on them. We're on them. Drop the poles. Just a little guy, but look how freaking cool that fish is. Bay bass in the dark. Cool ones. Definitely not what bit me off, um, but that, that's freaking cool. Afrin just caught another one. Hey, there's a light right here even too. Just a little guy so far, and <laughs> we're <laughs> trying to kill him over here with the fumble. Dude, they're little, but they're like, they're so cool looking. I love those things. Those are badass. Another bay bass. All right. We got, we got the numbers. It's time to get the big ends. We're getting out here toward the end though. It's possible. Could happen. Deeper water. I'm liking it. It's gonna happen. Oh, hey guys, look, it's a it's a great white swimming cage. So, uh, just talked to Afrin, we canceled my flight, and we're going out in a shark cage tomorrow. Drop a thumbs up if you want me to go in a shark cage tomorrow with great whites. Okay, let's go. Afrin just got broken off. Now we've been broken off twice. It's like anything over six inches will bite you off. Oh, got him. Yeah, feels small still. Definitely still small. <laughs> yes, another one. Trying to be a little stealthy because people are here kind of looking at us funny, but just got another bun. That's like big fish of the night, dude. That's a giant. Hey, this is a sand one, isn't it? Sand bass? Yeah, sand bass. Sand bass. They got teeth, right? Yeah, feels that way. Wonder if that's what's biting us off. Could be. All right, folks, we got a, a different species. It looks similar, but it's a little different. That is a sand bass. Kind of a good one the other day in that first cast when I was with Afrin. Now we got a little peckerhead guy when I'm with him again. Super cool though. Two species, no biggins, but uh, this is freaking sweet out here in the dark, but there's some light from these boats. And we're actually, like I said, it's kind of frowned upon that we're here, um, hence the no fishing signs, but we're, we're being stealthy. We're, we're not hurting anything. We're, we're not causing a ruckus or doing anything illegal or leaving beer cans all over the place or anything. Um, yeah, we're, we're just out here trying to catch some fish. And we've actually seen a lot of fishermen coming off these boats for the day. And they, you know, they're kind of super cool with us. I think they appreciate dudes out fishing, so they don't really care. But ah, so far, so good. We might make a, a little bit of move um, to a different area, downtown San Diego, fish some of that stuff here in a little bit, try to get a big old fat one, but you cannot freaking beat this. This is just like flipping docks at home and, and catching fish at night. So sick. Found him. Another spotty. Sick. They're just so freaking cool looking. And they're eating the jig. On the jig. <laughs> flipping the little war baits jig. The little craw trailer. So cool. That's oh, what happens. Flare. That's that's why they can tear you up. They flare out so hard. Look at those freaking gill plates. That thing. Right? That's what happened. That's why my thumb looks like that. Because their gill plates do that. No swimming. Seriously. Swim away. Get out of our life. Yeah. The f did I catch you? Oh, it peed on me. Where'd you get it? I touched it and it spooged water all over me. Dude, what the heck? Ocean shit is weird. Oh, it's peeing on me. Look. It sprays water. We got, we got a squirter here on our hands. Oh, 
weird. All right, dock number one was a, uh, a total freaking success. Got a whole bunch of little guys, not, nothing big, but, but super, super fun. So we're moving on to another spot now. Hopefully get a bigger one. I don't know if it's gonna be really well lit, but uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty dark out here, but this is, this is totally cool. Little stealth missions in the dark. Places maybe we're not supposed to be fishing, but whatever. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Get out, catch some fish whenever you get an opportunity. And this is our opportunity. We've, we've kind of got our heads, our teeth kicked in the last couple days, so we're gonna catch some tonight. Spot number two, as you can see, we're uh, on a major road. Afrin just said we're, we're likely to get mugged right here, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. And it's time to catch some giant fish. Let's do it. <laughs> Totally just got bit again. Me and Afrin just got bit on our very first flips into the new area. You guys probably can't see anything I'm doing or hear anything, but obviously good to get bit on your first freaking flip into this area. There's so many fish. Get him. Get him. Got him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Yes. Yes. Micro fishing. <laughs> That's so sick. Why are you so small? Oh, it's so funny. Oh my gosh. Just catching them. Dude, no wonder we're not getting them. Look how small they are. There's a fish in his hand somewhere. Oh god, he's still flaring trying to kill you. You're All free. right, folks, this is how you have to release them when you're that far away. Oh, free. he made it. Good toss. Dude, so <laughs> sick. That's legit. <laughs> he made a cast right down to that pier. We're right by the... Uh, no swimming or fishing. No nadar or pescar sign. And uh, making long presentations, you know, long flips so we can actually get to the fish and, and make casts. Because everything's blocked off down here. What is this? All right, guys. Time to flip Captain Jack Sparrow's boat. This is the one we saw come in the other night. And it just so happens it's prime flipping territory. How's it going? Can we come fish up there? Looks like a pretty good fishing boat. Can we come fish up there? Uh, no, no. Ah, damn it. Yeah. Thanks though. We'll just catch one from here. Well guys, that is the end of the adventure, the night fishing stealth mission adventure here in San Diego Bay, downtown San Diego. In the background, freshwater components, gear, everything, baits. And we're out here catching fish in the salt water. Not big fish, we didn't catch any giants. We got bit off though, bit off twice. Would have liked to see what those fish were, but that is, uh, that's where we're gonna have to bring this thing to an end. One, because my fishing license expires in about five minutes. It's almost midnight. And you know, I don't wanna be out here breaking the law, not having a fishing license because people will probably show up at my house and that's really fun. And two, because I have a flight to hop on uh, in about seven hours from now. So uh, probably a good thing to maybe begin packing up and getting ready to head back to Nebraska. Um, Fortunately, but this was a totally sick experience. This is cool content. I really enjoyed this tonight because it's relatable It's something that you guys can go do anybody can go do this And, and I know since so many of you guys hit me up while I was out here that uh, this is what a lot of you guys do You, you night fish you get the, It's what Afrin calls like the foot patrol these guys out here on the bank they, they buy a ton of tackle and they use a ton of tackle and they catch a ton of fish out here and it's it's so it's so cool it's so roots it's so what i did growing up so i can really appreciate something like this but i don't know like i said we got, we got a busy night still of, of going back packing things up and uh getting ready to head out of here unfortunately but uh huge thank you to this dude right here afrin the owner of warbits go check out his stuff uh down coming down here made me realize how freaking amazing his baits are down here they just flat out they get bit they they come through the cover differently than any other of these baits and i can see why they're so successful and awesome down here there's so much i learned from this trip so much so many things that i, I could almost make a whole nother video about I'd, I'd like to talk about in another video so maybe i'll do that but it's just it's a different culture out here and, and i think i developed as a person as an angler everything on this trip and, and that's more important to me than, than going out and sticking a bunch of giant fish uh, or, or getting a lot of great content i thought i got a lot of good content but maybe something we can talk about in a future story but this story is over my trip to san diego is over this beautiful city beautiful weather amazing people is over for now but i'll catch you guys very very soon i'm out of here peace Sorry, I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> <laughs>
Love like 